What's up, what's up? We are back at it again, seeing if I can get this to work. And yeah, well, not sure. That is the wrong. Take a look over here. Yeah, we got a live video. That's what we want. Audio looks good. And let me change the thumbnail and then we'll take a look to see if we're getting a lot of dropped frame rate. Possible. It's also not possible. There we go. I like that. Add this to the live stream playlist. So I was working on this game yesterday for hours, which was a lot of work. It was also really nice. Um, I'm trying to get into the zone where I just like listen to music and just like go at it. And I ch there's this like Pomodoro method or something. It's like you work for 45 minutes and then you don't work for 15 minutes. So. I've been doing that, except I'll work on something for 45 minutes ish, and then I will play games for 15 minutes. I think that's a great method. I also think I'm a genius because uh, then you can mix playing games and making games together. And I have those live streams from yesterday. Let's turn on this TikTok phone. Don't want to show my face. That's not what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, how are we doing on the drop frame rate? Yeah. Okay. So, Wi-Fi on the phone definitely better than. I don't know, the direct. Every country is different. That's just how it is. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. Let's just play this again. Fun, fun little test. We can actually exit out. And, oh, we got a crash. That's okay. App is in beta, so it'll crash sometimes. If you haven't used or play tested or test flighted an app before, definitely recommend it. Okay, so here's the game. And the cool thing is these are people and they're playing the game that the game is wait now this is this is uh this is what dreams game. Let's uh let's, Let's play this, then we'll play the game that I spent a couple hours working on yesterday. I guess technically I spent three hours working on it. Although actually it says, but uh, I have been trying that Pomodoro method where I work for 45 minutes. Oh. And then I take a 15 minute break. We'll, we'll try that again today. I'll start the clock now, even though we got multiple. So, Okay, so we gotta wait. I like this. I don't I don't know what that is. Like I think maybe you can like jump on that at the side or something. That dude, no, that's not how you do it, bro. It's, it's, what's up? So I am a professional, so actually I gotta do this. Boom, first place, got it. So again, any game in this app, you can hit a button and you can remake the game on your own. And this one has some nice things uh, information how to get started what to do stuff like that um and those are there's are, there's at least half a dozen different uh all boys type of games out there now so it's really easy if you wanted to just go in and like take some mechanics and i try to set up my mechanics so that they are very easily copy and pasteable but here's what i okay so look Looks like I spent two hours on this yesterday. We can see the timer and it says two hours. 
so really that was probably like an hour and a half because again making games trying to figure out how to make games hurts your brain and if you spend 45 minutes doing it you gotta take a break yeah so i like this fact we're, we're gonna do more outfits right now i'm just adding man we're doing great do a drop frame rate oh and so cool check it so other people have joined this game and now i can watch them and the great thing about watching people play your game is if they get stuck or if they have some trouble uh you can see what is working or what is not working and again there is a bug somewhere that if you get knocked out i think it it creates like an endless loop of you falling i don't i can't seem to recreate it but i've i've heard it happen before I, this game audio i don't think it's that loud oh man having no drop fingers i don't love that okay, so these are all random in how they do a punch out that was fun to make that that took a while also notice these levers how they spin like that that took a while that rotates and all the little pieces like yeah. and i also wanted to set it up so that you can't just jump over because before you could yeah so gonna add that should be a dynamic object so i'm gonna change that oh maybe the falling thing was over here yeah okay like so that is bad i will fix that immediately uh go into the game i hate i don't know what it's good some of these buttons okay looks like the bit rate is decent okay and where there it is okay so what okay so we definitely got to fix that at the end over there and i think that's just because this this object actually has no physics and it is just a um, placeholder so we gotta put so we could do steps we can do let me let me type in ball boys gameplay ball boys maps um i do this all the time when i'm making games i'll just go to google and i'll just like look for kind of inspiration of ball boys why, why is wait it's fall guys that's uh no it's fall boys oh i typed it wrong okay so i like this door that's a good one that's like one of the doors you can jump through the other ones you can't i like that This one's nice. It's like a rotating thing. We could do that. We could add like a big rotating thing. And I think there is an object that has similar properties for that. I like that. I like that idea. We got random doors. I've created doors that you bust through before. I've done that. Different. That one's cool simple to do done it but again we gotta go up i'm gonna be wanting to go uphill that one's kind of cool always a good idea to like sit down and figure out what kind of obstacles you want to do before you make the game oh this is kind of nice different i like this this And then maybe we can have like balls fall down that give a lot of force. This is like a cannon meets a player. Not 
Which means false. Um, let's type in obstacle cool. Well, I think I can spend all day trying to figure out what I want to do. It would just be easier just to do something. So let's go and do something. Let's go get a platform. We need to correct that first thing, which is the the, the bug with the player. If they touch it, they, they fall. The, the bug thing. We'll fix that right um, Or this. Tap it, rotate it. So undo tap. We just change the color. I don't like the white. I still haven't figured out color scheme. I'm gonna do a lot today with just setting up one more optical. Again, I kind of have a cold, so I feel like crap. But luckily, I'm gonna sit down on that couch. I got a couch over there. I'm gonna sit down and make a game because uh, you can still make a game even though you're sick. <laughs> it's just not as, um, it's a lot slower, I would say. Okay, so let's do this. But now you cannot fall there and maybe make the top blue. Like that blue. Just to keep a little consistency. I'm, I'm not that big on consistency right now, but uh, so we could do we could do like a stairs. I liked I liked um what was it? I saw like a cannon. I'm gonna have a cannon shoot you. Let's add a cannon. Is there a cannon? I think there might be a cannon. There is a cannon. Does this cannon have an effect? Do cannon force? Okay, if it's some, there's, a, there's a force, then it does something. Object to spawn. There's like a random object, and then these are random objects to spawn, which I believe are over. Well, we can follow the green lines, but I'm pretty sure it's the yeah, it's these dudes. So we can change this object actually to something else. Let's let's get the cannon in the game first. So where is that? I kind of want the can. Whoa. Maybe add like a rotation something and then go up the stairs and try not to get shot by the cannon. So in the previous game, the objects fall down and you just have to move around it. In this, I'm thinking of changing the objects to like, I don't know, beach volleyball or like a soccer ball or something and add a bounce effect so that if you get hit by it, You fly off the screen that's what i'm thinking let's uh let's give that a try actually where it says ball here we go so let's change this to a ball oh wait we gotta go up here basic select it and let's change this name to ball How we doing? We got 0.6 drop frame rate. Gotta appreciate uh, Wi-Fi on the phone better than Wi-Fi at the house. Welcome to the Philippines. We'll see how Cebu is. Maybe it's better. Okay, so I like this ball way too big. Go ahead and this another ball. I mean, I kind of like that uh, shiny orb. Let's do a volleyball. 
Okay, notice how the ball is kind of pear shaped, and so is this one. I'm gonna select it. So the scale is over here to the right now, which is fine, but they're I'm not a fan because while it works now, it is difficult to change the scale if you are selecting more than two of the same objects and you wanted to change those objects here. So I'm curious to see how Hypipe will approach that. Again, this app is in beta, so they're making improvements and it's getting better every day, but sometimes things change. Got to like adapt. Okay, let's go with uh, this ball. Super basic. Super big. Kind of looks like an egg. This would be good for like a Yoshi egg. Definitely good for Yoshi egg. Change the scale. And I kind of want to add a collision trigger for players that equals an explosion. So let's go collision trigger green. Um, if enabled, we'll have an explosion force. And we can mess with these numbers in a second. Let's first mess with it. Do collision trigger, move it over like that. Oh, no code. Execute. I don't know if this executes the target. Hmm. Sometimes you can execute set as target. So, like, if the ball hits the player, make the player go boom. Let's reset the view. I'm going to move it down a little bit. And I guess we got one. We can maybe have two of these. Just again, this is just for testing purposes. And we want to make sure that that bug with the going da 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 da, -da isn't there anymore. So let's just go into it. Oh, God. sometimes it doesn't load. That's okay. A trick when it doesn't load is I just go, I save it. But then I'll open it up again. Again, when you're developing in an app that's in beta, the work in progress. And I do enjoy the work in progress because I feel like making a game is always like a work in progress. So this app where you can make games while it's always a work in progress, you, you get how the, the game development. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh wait, no, that was a chess piece hit from the gloves the game is a bit laggy jumpy i've noticed that before oh man bug like how do these bugs get in here go in so those chess pieces should be light but they're not these are all random Even that move, that move, that one, I don't know why I can't set that one up. Cool. Okay, so we're looking for, oh, okay, so look how the balls are shooting to the left. And I think they actually disappear when they hit this wall. So we're going to need to change the direction that the ball moves. Because, yeah, they're, they're shooting this way and we want them to shoot. Nice little trick when you're editing, you can just, instead of selecting the game you're working on and hitting edit, and right now we can see that it's not actually working properly. This is uh, something I was working on the other day, um, specifically to create dialogue, because you don't have to create just games, you can make anything you want. And in this, I wanted to practice having a dialogue having people say a conversation hello world who are you talking to i'm no one ready to find gold i can be a pirate yeah so that like all that is just for fun um and then you got this game which doesn't really work and the water looks a little off but again that's just for fun that took like an hour you tap this button up here and it takes you directly into the game to edit 
Uh, let's go over to the cannon. Where's the cannon? And basically, just need to shoot here. No, 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 no. Here. So this. Notice that arrow, and I believe that's the force. It does a bunch of stuff. This is a spawner. We might need to change that to have the arrow point that way. I don't know yet. Let's go find out. I'm a big fan of these. I think they work well. They jiggle and they move. I might make them move a little faster. Forgot to change one of those to uh, dynamic. Oh wait, is the ball spinning that way now? Yeah, that's cool. That's great. Probably reduce the force or not. And, oh crap! Oh crap! 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 I did not. Oh no, it's gonna crash. <laughs> I did. Can I not set this object to uh, dynamic? When moving around, it's really when moving around, sometimes you want to tap an object and it'll give a reference point to everything so it makes it move easier. Like if I don't have that object, it'll still move, but sometimes slowly. This physics. So I want these physical material to be light. You can control the weight of an object. It can be a heavy object, it can be a medium light object, it can be light as a feather, uh, all that stuff. Uh, I, just uh, the depth of what you can do when you're making a game is... Ah, see, that's such an unmovable. We need a dynamic. Uh, these are all set to light. I swore I saved this before. Okay, so there is an object here. No physics yet. So I need to make that an unmovable physics. And now when the player comes, they don't just fall through this. This piece is not... Okay, see, no physics. This is just a... I think it's a spawning point for the character. So it doesn't have physics. So we need to have an object with physics kind of right behind it. And so now when you fall off or whatever, you don't, you don't fall in an infinite loop that'll make the game <laughs> crash, which is kind of fun to do. If, if anybody wants me to do that, I will, I will crash the app, but uh, I don't think it's going to And that kind of stuff happens all the time when you're making games. The trick is to know about it. Now, if you if you force the app to crash and you don't know about it, it's really difficult to fix. Okay, so oh crap! Now look, I think this object doesn't have physics. You can see it's gonna it's gonna cause the app to crash any second now. Like that. I wonder if I can move to the left, I can't move to the right. All right. Let's just get out of here. Oh, the... Give it a couple seconds. So that was kind of like an infinite falling loop. Although the app didn't crash, which is very impressive. I'm, I'm very impressed. We are at a 1.9% drop frame rate. I think I did. This one's cool. We got the original five. Jones is some threat. It's visually stunning. The things you can make in this app. It's limitless. Let's go. Um, let's just do it. Oh, I see it. 
Why were you falling? Uh, this one has physics. Unmovable. Unmovable. So these both have physics. I'm gonna save it. We got the cannon to shoot the ball from left to right. Change these to be physically lighter so it's a little chest pieces to move better. Okay, yeah, looks good. And so now I want these balls to have. Knock him, hit him. That, that ball should have had an explosive force. So, I'm not really knocking the ball, the character over. Wait, which one had an explosive? That one. I believe it was that one. The bubble, the bu dinosaur egg ball. And this cannon is also shooting an object to the right. Uh, but that's just how the mechanic is currently set up. So, let's go take a look at it. I don't know why these are just way over here. I believe I created collision trigger with player green. Execute explosive force. The player, maybe the players are not green. Let's go to reset view. Where are the players? Here. Object. Yeah, it's green. Mm -hmm. nice. Oh, 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 nope. Reset view. to go up what would be cool right now we got cannons shooting do we have any other assets oh we got the optical we got the spinning stuff we got the lift wall the checkpoint i do like those decorations Pillows. Let's try, well, he's already in here. I'm gonna move this to the side for now. That's the side as well. I like this. Duplicate, move it up. So this is currently at new, layout shows the position is at negative 2.555 which is fine and let's go ahead and move this up to double that at five okay that's too much uh let's do four four point four point five still feels like a lot so 2.5 well we could try it out let's cap oh copy it over here 4.5 to this would be 6.5 let's just see how that feels um when you're playing there'll be other people so it might it might be easier i don't know which 
chat. Oh. I think in the game they moved automatically. Yeah, look at that. See, they're rotating like that. Ah, what we want. So we'll need some kind of randomizer and uh, might as well just turn these into steps with the random setup. Okay, let's go to this object. There it is. Turning speed. We got the rotation right here. And turning speed 10. All right, let's go and can we not add? Let's go in here. We're going to add a random. And we're going to do turning speed negative 10, positive 10. And on start. I have a random value. Okay. No, 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 stop. On start, random value. Rotator Z. You look, I reported this. This is a typo, or this could even maybe it's finished. I don't know. So this will. Each time this object is spawned, there'll be a random number, negative 10 to positive 10, and it'll spawn this. But we need to also turn off to see how it... We need to turn that off. Or maybe even go like this. Problem is, is we're, we're now doing it twice. Uh, so let's just turn one off. Let's see how it works. Um, because I don't like moving all the way. Wait, we have we have one right behind us. Oh, but we need multiple. Let's do this. And now we can test. They should be all random. Now this is a different object. Okay, never mind. That is just an object with the hinge. I thought it was the same. It is not. Okay, we can just go like this. And we can see that the colors are a little bit different. So I'm going to test this. And they should all be spinning at a different variable. So that's good. Yeah, um, downside is it's not spinning fast enough, and there's a way to fix that. Let's So the, the main problem is any speed like zero or negative one or positive two is a slow speed, whereas in like negative 10 is a fast speed. So let's get rid of the random and add a switch node, kind of one of my favorites for just randomizing variables. And we can go to a probability, probability distribution, make these all equal one. And let's see, we're going to want, let's say, negative, negative 10, negative 15, positive 10, positive 15. And let's just add um, four, three, three spinning left, three spinning right. Turn that on. Right now, this variable is getting information. And where you get like so 
So it's getting its v variable from here. This was made by somebody else, so I just have to be careful because I don't want to break anything. Uh, that's that's me. So where back to here? No, the switch. What do we say? Uh, negative five. Negative five. Positive. Negative five, negative 10, negative 15, three of each, and then the positive. So these each have a 16% chance. And I think we can go in here that to what? negative five. Is that what I said? Clear, five, negative. Clear, negative 10. Clear, negative 15. Uh, this is another way to do random again having a random node that just picks a random number from 5 to you know, negative 10 to 10 the issue is if it lands on anywhere between like negative 1 or positive 1 then it doesn't really rotate that oh, crap. Oh, wait no I'm going over here this one And once this, once we can get it to work, I'm gonna remove. Oh no, 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 no! I'm gonna remove the rectangle and make it more of a square. Okay, now we're gonna test it back here. The negative five seems to be just a little bit too slow for my liking. I do like that hinge one. So let's just go ahead and change some of these numbers around. Why don't we do times two? Yeah, times two times two. First to five. Two times two. So we got negative 10, negative 15. And this should be faster. This one again, hinge joint. Okay, so I like how that kind of looks and feels. Now let's go ahead and uh, make this more of a rectangle. So we got the scale. Let's divide the length by two. It'll still spin like that. And we can change. Let's change the colors. I'll I'll do more with color stuff later uh, right now we're just making making levels okay so up here that's like smaller so these we can see because they're older they still have the rectangle shape tap and hold to select multiple objects delete that and see it's more of a square now I do believe it should spin still left and right. I'm not exactly sure, but we will, of course, test it. Oh, let's go ahead and move it to the middle. Check out the position, and we want the X to be zero. The cool thing is here, you can go like this, and we can duplicate. Duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. That spin holes. Let's duplicate more, and one more time. And we're going to go ahead and move all of these up. Again, I wish there was a better way to move it. I like using the exact number. They're, the latest update is pretty, pretty dope, but some features have been removed. So we can look up here. You can see the Y, where it is on the Y. Let's go ahead. It was what it was. It was at 2.4. So let's go ahead. 2.4. Let's make it 3.8. Sure. Then we can like get rid of this one.
tap and hold to deselect. Uh, generally, I would use exact numbers because uh, I'm kind of. I don't. I don't want to say nerdy. I just like exact numbers. They uh, they have a special place. Okay, so now all of them should be random. And spin. There's six different variables to spin. I kind of want these to fall a little bit faster. Uh, I've seen people play, and I don't think it falls fast enough. I can, of course, change that. But, and this new update, I'm telling you, I don't even think you guys can tell how amazing this looks. Like, it just... I don't know what it is. But everything just looks amazing. Like, look at the shadows. You can mess with the sh oh. Okay, so I do notice that they, they all seem to have a different um, spinning. But at the end, they all kind of get back to normal. So, I know how to fix that. I think, let's go back to here. And let's go into add the random node. Random, random, I'll do zero to five seconds. Zero to five seconds, have an interval. I do this all the time to randomize the, an object in moving. So I don't know if you saw or not, I'll, I'll show you the difference and then we're gonna, we're gonna call it a day. Cause again, big dude, uh, Oh no, oh no, my, my, my Wi Fi's gone. Crap. Oh, it's back. It's back. I don't understand the internet in the Philippines. I, like, the only thing I want anywhere I live in the world is just consistent good internet. And I had good internet, and now I don't. So I'm just. These are the things that frustrate me. Okay, random, zero to one on random pro link so we go here and then we select where where it's, we go here and we select interval and then we hit execute and then we hit on so that turns on the interval the interval is already on and on time rotate we execute the rotate so this exists but it's turned on randomly by that object and this does one thing i'll show you because i don't think it's like such a small oh no 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 okay i might need to start over it's such a small thing but i oh, jump dude I, I like how it adds a dynamic element to a game. So we'll look at those. Um, what are you doing? So I don't know if you can see, but they kind of. Oh. Yeah, so now these are all basically random. Uh, it might be difficult, actually. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to go now. So you see how everything just lines up? We don't want that. We don't want that. That is that is actually bad. So I think I turned a couple of these on. Basically the rotator I want to execute after that timer. So the timer's gonna go like every object will have a random variable start time if I, I programmed it before I didn't and they all started at the same time so if you can look in the back and we're going to test as soon as we get up there I, I, ah. and it's better to test in the beginning so look Last time we tested, they all lined up kind of in, like right now, like this. 
This is what I don't want, and yet it's doing it. Oh my gosh. Literally what I don't want. Let's see if it does it again. So those line up, but the more time that happens, the less likely it is to occur. Up, oh, dude. Okay, let's mess with that some more. Kind of feeling like it doesn't work exactly the way I want, but let's get uh, let's get this stuff. Maybe we can add some cannons. Again, just doing one object today. Um, do check me out on my TikTok. Oh, and we got these two. Maybe add some of these. Go look at those. Grab all, tap and hold to select multiple objects. That's how you do mobile game dev. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Now I just need to get the randomness set up. Let me save it. My Wi-Fi, get that upload speed. No. We're at 5% frames dropped on YouTube, which I'll be honest with you, is pretty good compared to before. I got I got one more week left in Manila. Plan to I plan to work a lot, honestly. There's not not much to do. I think I've done a lot. I'm kind of I'm I've seen a bunch of cool museums already. Okay, so let's take a look at this object. So basically I want to look at this rotate. So here it rotates. This is the variable. You know what I could do? I also have a variable for turning speed. Container, container, container. Oh, you know what? I bet you because so notice how it's the red arrow. Red arrows are actually I don't think you didn't notice. Yeah, so those are red arrows. Those actually turn an object on. Uh, whereas in gray arrows, like they kind of look great. Gray arrows just pass the information. Um, so I think this is turning everything on at once. What the? I just saw like somebody outside that I'm on. I'm in, like in a skyscraper on a, hold on, I got it. I don't know, maybe it was like a big black, maybe like a big black bird. Okay, uh, let's test it. And, you know, I say this all the time. When you're making a game, you gotta play test over and over again. If you're not enjoying the game that you're making, then you get, you know, keep that in mind, because, uh, you should be enjoying the crap out of the game you're making. Yeah, so look, things are not lining up perfectly, which is what I want. Oh no, 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 it's gonna line up perfectly. This is not what I, why are you, oh man. Okay, so whatever. Uh, let me go ahead and add, why do you do why? Okay, so we got to execute. What is causing you to execute? Okay, interval.
Okay, here we go. So this interval was actually set up incorrectly. You see, I have on link turn. So this was actually set up incorrectly, and this is why it's important to check everything. Here, this this random variable, when turned on, will pick up a number from zero to five. And what I wanted to do is make this duration zero or five, but instead what it's doing is it's turning everything on, which is not what we want. Go here, and I believe it's in here. Interval, duration, execute. Now notice because this is a red node color thing, it actually turns the object on. All this stuff when you're learning how to make games, like there's a bunch of tutorials, basic stuff. Like I'm new. I I I spend most days just trying to make cool stuff happen. And I think it's cool, so it helps me to keep going. Um and I think, yeah, if you think it's cool, for sure, that that will help you get through the through everything, honestly. Um yeah, and this isn't my first multiplayer game. I've I've made like three or four. Honestly, only one of them has been good, uh, in my opinion. Like people still play the other ones, but uh, you know. oh crap. Uh, that being said, the more you make games, the better you get at making games. So like make more games uh, that that's just my my philosophy for okay. the bad the bad but that's fine so i can make these smaller too Whoa, oh oh crap what if i made them smaller oh no 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 see go tap Delete. Okay, so we are done with this obstacle. I'm tempted to do. Well, I guess I don't have to make them all smaller. I can make. See, I want to be able to change the exactly the point, whatever size, but I can't. That makes no sense. So I like this better. I wonder if I can do this. Oh, let's just do that. Let's go. And what size are these? Scale point seven roughly. So you can go and change these. No, you can't. You see, second the second you touch another object, you can't change. Bugs me, yo. That bugs. Like as somebody who likes everything to be just perfect, um, that's okay. That's okay. I do believe perfection is highly overrated in in the mind. So. This, this, I like it, and now we're gonna need to bring everything up a little bit more. Uh, where is the um? Oh crap! Undo, undo, undo. Tap all. This is kind of random. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. I don't even know what these do. They say decoration. So basically, you will fall. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's uh, let's play. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Just adding one more obstacle. I'm going to try to do finish this multiplayer game this week hopefully more and i want to do more live streams but honestly my wi-fi is so bad we'll see 
I've been doing today with uh, my phone. Um, do check me out on TikTok. I'm hyper casual games. Sometimes I just I'll live stream on TikTok and I'll just like make the game and I won't. When you talk and make a game, you have to like explain everything, so it's a lot slower process, which is fine. It's just different. Yeah, I don't think that would work out there. Crap. So I think this is actually going to be pretty difficult for people. So let me... Yeah, yesterday I did like a live stream. I, I was streaming for, I want to say four hours, three hours, or something like that. It was a lot of fun. Okay, look at that. You see right there, that, that height gap. Okay, so we're looking at position 2.5. We, we want this to be a 3.5, roughly. All right, the new update doesn't make this easy to do. So hopefully they will fix this in the future update. 3.5, 4.5. And what I'm speaking of is the ability to change multiple of the same objects, X, Y. There, there could be a way. Oftentimes I find that there's a way to do something. Uh, I just don't know what it is. Like here, you got an action button. You got align positions. This will align them, but I'm not trying to align them. I'm trying to raise them. So 2.5. So, and you can't change multiple ones. So that's too far. So 2.5. Yeah, let's do that. 2.5. 4.5. Yeah. Again, in the previous version, you could change these numbers and they would be exact, which is what I'm all about, 5.5, 6.5. But again, you can change this. 6.5, did we say 6.5? Oh crap, I moved it over. Seven point five. Like this. Let me move it down. Move it over there. Okay. Zoom out. Move this down. Okay. One more obstacle done. Um, I'm not sure how many obstacles I'm gonna, I'm gonna do for this. So, step one: create all the obstacles. Step two: color palette. I don't want the same colors. Uh, make things look cool step three is this character lets you change a bunch of different character looks over here that to me is like some of the funnest stuff to do so hopefully i'll get to that by the end of the week we are at a 5.5 percent dropped frame rate uh that's okay so that's where we're at and um oh man i could have been recording on my screen I'm gonna go take, go get some soup or something. I made some chicken noodle soup with Thai curry sauce. Ah, uh, I thought you could cook. It's amazing. But uh, until then, I'll be back. Like, subscribe, be making games on my phone, tablet, all that good stuff. Until next time, stay safe out there. I'm Hypesy. Peace.